Hello everyone. Uh, we are going to discuss something useful for your studies, especially for your second paper. Uh, we have been uploading uh, several videos regarding your studies, uh, how to develop, how to improve your English, uh, uh, how to improve your literature knowledge, and also the remember the purpose of uploading most of these videos uh, uh, to make you have an interest to encourage you to do English literature as a subject. Most of the time uh, we find like uh, still uh, uh, the students are quite reluctant to select uh, English language, uh, English literature as an A-level subject. Uh, uh, you are a little reluctant thinking that it will, this will be a hard subject and uh, you will find hard to score marks and hard to uh, uh, get the university entrance with this. So um, the major purpose of this channel is to make you have an interest and to encourage you to do this subject, try this, and uh, this is not uh, that hard as we are expecting. So uh, this would be the 100 video that I'm uploading on my YouTube channel. So uh, I'm happy to announce that. Uh, so in this video, I hope to uh, explain you about summary writing. We have uh, already discussed how to do a summary in one of my previous videos. I have discussed how to do a perfect summary, uh, summary writing techniques. Uh, you all can go through that also once again. So in uh, this video, I expect to take one of the passages uh, uh, and let's uh, summarize it. Let's see the basic techniques and how to approach summary writing. We'll take a passage and see uh, how to do the summary. So here I'm going to take one of the papers uh, on my website, uh, Scholars Park website. So this uh, here, you can see the, yes. Here you can see the passage. Uh, let's see uh, this uh, the marks uh, allocated for the summary it's uh, 25 marks and five marks remember altogether it's 30 marks actually the five marks for your mcq questions here i'm not going to discuss any mcq questions related to this let's see how to summarize this the number of words uh, they have mentioned here uh, 130 words Write a prezi of the following passage using your own words. Remember, you have to use your own words. And uh, you have to use them as far as possible. Then finally, when you complete uh, your summary, you have to divide your paper into five columns and number the uh, uh, and number the lines from one to eight. Write the prezi in approximately 137 words. So you can make it like... It may be 140 or 42 or like uh, it may be 130, but don't exceed the number. Uh, and also write as much as you can. Don't write, a, uh, don't write less than this, right? So let's see. The uh, Most of the time, uh, most of the students do what they do is uh, you do the first round reading. You first read the whole passage and then you take you get an idea you get a rough idea of the passage then what you do is uh, you start to read it paragraph by paragraph because if we read the whole passage again and again uh, sometimes like if, if you are really good in english if you can exactly understand what is there in the passage you can manage this but actually, like most of the students, you like uh, mostly we find average standard students. So uh, uh, I think uh, it would be better if you go para by para. You first round, you read the whole thing. And next you read the first paragraph, get the idea, summarize it. Then read the second para, get the idea, summarize it. That is also one of the uh, way that you can approach or else read the whole thing again and again, two times, three times, then keep it aside and write your summary. Just uh, read it and then uh, don't, don't just uh, keep on like reading line by line and uh, try to summarize it. Just read it, keep it aside and write the idea in your words it's like just imagine if i ask you what is uh, 
what's the story nibbling uh you would say like you won't say in james joyce voice, uh, words no? you would say the story in your words so that's what you should do in a summary don't use the same words uh, that you see in the passage you read it get the idea and write it in your words so here i'm not going to read the whole pass uh, passage here let's read the first part hmm? okay Uh, for the first time in 40 years many people are going to the cinema in britain the decline began with the return of television after the world war 2 but it really accelerated with the introduction of color television and the opening of the independent television independent television service so what's the main idea so here it says for the first time um first time in 40 years many people going to the cinema now people began to go to the cinema again but the writer mentions there was a decline um there was a decline why why there was a decline because of the television when after the second world war but it really accelerated with the introduction of color television and the opening of independent television service so the rough idea is what with the arrival of the television especially color television no? with the arrive as a result of the arrival of television or no? you can say with the arrival of television uh people Uh, less people or like people began to move away from cinema and attracted to the television hmm? there was a decline or else you can just search on like you just type decline decline synonyms hmm? see decrease reduce turn down hmm? uh see you can get some other words also hmm? there was a decrease you can say hmm? uh there was a what uh, uh de- yeah we can use the word decrease hmm? uh then what we can say uh we can make it as a uh summary okay let's uh, before writing we'll just uh, summarize get the so the first idea is after or with the arrival of television people began to move away from cinema hmm yeah? uh but now the then the people began to move away from cinema but the first line says but now it's not people going to the cinema let's see why then uh, second para it says now the situation is changing let's see why there is a new approach by cinema owners cinema owners have uh, approached with the new arrivals what in both usa and europe there were several long standing problems that kept people away from cinema so that means there were reasons in the past to make people away from cinema what are the reasons find out apart from the attraction of tv and video little money had been spent on the cinema buildings for many years but as a result many were dirty and old fashioned with worn ca- uncomfortable seats poor sound equipment and a small old screens so what it says uh, uh, for the for this decrease uh, the reasons for the for this decrease might or like uh, the reason for this decline uh, what Uh, people were away from cinema because of the poor condition you can like uh, if want you can mention these reasons one by one but if it uh, adds like if it if then uh, your word count increase rather than talking about like old fashion uh, seats or uh, uncomfortable seats poor sound equipment then you can say overall um due to the lack of facilities given by the cinema owners people less people began to move move into the uh 
move on cinema. Mm -hmm. So then uh, I will uh, make the columns all so then you can have an idea. One, two, three, four, and five. After the arrival of television people began to move away from cinema. Then you can say this. Mm. Decline. Uh, this decline uh, increased due to lack of facilities and poor condition on no let's say a poor condition uh, provided by the cinema owners. So this is a, a sample. Hmm? And uh, let's move once again the next part. So then uh, up to here, we have already summarized. Hmm? Later on, you can count the number of words. If you, if you find like uh, we can add some more words because they're asking to write 137 words. So if you can add some more, you can add them to your summary. So don't uh, like uh, what I have done, uh, don't write the summary at once. All at once, don't write. First, do it on a rough paper. Hmm. Count the number of words and then you do the changes and then your final product, you make the lines and write like that. And now I just wrote it like this uh, in order to show you how to write this. Hmm. So let's see the next part. Uh, as audience grew smaller, cinema owners had raised ticket prices to maintain their income as ticket prices rose uh, to about double over 10 years. Even fewer people came. Uh, so a vicious circle built up. So then another reason. Then you can suggest uh, to your summary. Moreover, the increase of the ticket prices affected this situation. But here you can add that also. Owners, uh, here's the full stop. Uh, moreover, the increase of the ticket price also affected this decline. Okay, you can add that. Then also it says uh, uh, increase, not only the increased ticket price, then it says increases street crime at night. Parking restrictions made people unwilling to leave home and go into the city at night, especially uh, with their children. Then uh, you can say moreover, uh, you can add the whole thing, not only the ticket price. Moreover, uh, the increase of the ticket prices uh, street crimes 
and parking problems. Don't say parking restrictions because uh, that is what given in the passage. So let's say parking restrictions, uh, par parking problems uh, become reasons for this decline. There, those become reasons for this decline. Then uh, next part, what? Let's see. Finally, a cinema own uh, cinema offering. Just one film at once could not compare with variety of entertainment on several TV channels at home, not to mention the almost unlimited choice offered by video. So uh, you can say then uh, cinema owners could not or like cinema could not compete with number of television channels. Why? As television could provide uh, uh, entertainment in various ways. Can you understand? I'm telling the same thing in the passage in another word. Those are my words. Okay. So uh, I hope you can remember what uh, I said. Hmm? Then uh, also the next part, the refreshment, basically sweets and ice cream offered at most uh, cinema was attractive and insufficient. Uh, was uh, yeah, at most uh, was attractive and insufficient. Cinema owners are now meeting these problems in two ways. So as another problem, the refreshments, um, uh, offering refreshment too became a problem. Or like you can say the offering refreshment was not sufficient for the number of uh, audience or for the audience, not number of, uh, not sufficient for the audience. Then next part. In the inner cities, they are, record, uh, they are redecorating and refurnishing uh, old cinema. cinemas, splitting them into three or four small auditoriums to offer choice of films each night. Now, they have to, the cinema owners had to fight with the various television channels because they provide various programs. But uh, so then cinema owners, what they do now is they provide the small auditoriums with different movies then you can say the next part you can summarize as a uh, as a result or as a solution or like you can say in order to overcome this problem in order to overcome this problem cinema owners offer small film auditoriums with different movies hmm? and also what else different movies now they now they use clear sound system you can't use the same like avoid using more than three words together from the original hmm? don't use more than three words from the original uh, then uh, their sound systems are clear what else attractive settings comfortable uh, or like you can attractive or you can you can say comfortable uh, setting hmm? uh, fresh good or fresh and healthy food hmm? people can be well fed as well as comfortably seated so so they could the uh, cinema owners now provide good facilities for the audience then also another part next part you can say lack of a space and price of land in city centers, however, still uh, leave the problem of parking and crime in the streets at night. The theft of uh, items from the cars of uh, vandalizing or theft uh, of the cars themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, so then how they avoid the parking restrictions, you can say, uh, uh, however, leave the problem parking and crime. So then in order to avoid uh, parking and crime in order to avoid parking problems and crime at the streets uh, they what now they are this is the solution to avoid the parking problems and the street crimes what they are doing now the biggest changes now in cinema building are moved to the edge of the town where land is cheaper so you can say the cinema owners or the uh, uh, as a solution, cinema owners found uh, cheaper lands at the edge of the uh, town, or you can far a little away from the little 
little far away, like far away from the town, the cinema owners could find cheaper lands, cheaper lands. Uh, cinema owners are now constructing large leisure areas like cheaper lands as they could construct. Let's uh, make that in order to avoid parking problems and street crimes. Now the cinema owners approach and uh, now the cinema owners found a new approach or you can say now the cinema owners found cheaper lands little away from or far away from bit far away from a uh, town area and construct multiplex centers hmm? Uh, then it last line it says these centers may have up to 15 auditoriums to show 15 different films together with uh, acres of free car parking. Uh, mul multiplex centers where they could what where they could give more parking opportunities as well as uh, they could provide number of uh, they could provide number of auditoriums with a variety of movies so like that it's mostly what uh, what we have to do is you have to take the main idea of the passage and we write the uh, summary or we write the we take the main idea of the passage and we write it in our words so you read it the best thing is that you read it again uh, like first round reading then second round, you can take it like para by para. You take paragraph by paragraph and get the idea, the gist, the main idea of the uh, passage and write it in your words. So I hope you understood what I uh, mentioned, the main, uh, uh, the basic techniques on how to write a summary, how to approach a summary writing, uh, the basic way, like you can select a, some newspaper articles you can select some uh, passages you have and try this read the passage get the main idea and write it in your words like this and if you have numbers or like some short forms in the original avoid writing them in your summary instead you have to write the longer form uh, you can't use simple lang sms language or like this is academic writing so use uh, don't use contractions if it is do not, don't, you have to say do not. Can't, you have to say cannot. So always use the longer form. Then at the end, you have to count the number of words. Make sure it does not increase the number of words they mention. And also don't write less than that. So uh, make your summary, count the number of words, and then final product, you have to write it as uh, what I have mentioned uh, what I have written on the board like this. And at the end of your summary, you have to mention the number of words like 135, let's say, 35 words. Hmm. Sorry, uh, words. So that's it, right? So this is uh, what we are expecting in summary writing. It's not that hard. Uh, it's not very hard. Only the thing is you will get some uh, uh, longer passages. Sometimes you find the language in those passages little hard. You might not understand in first time reading. Uh, I'm not just telling, I'm not telling these things just to make you afraid, but you, you should know the standard, you should know the level. So what you can do is read various articles, different types of writing. You have to read different articles and enhance your knowledge. That is up to you. Anyway, nothing harm will happen. You read as much as you can. So that will finally in increase, uh, improve your English knowledge. So all the best with everything. Uh, any other question, you can make a comment under the comment section. Once again, see you with another video. Bye-bye. Do your studies well.